red light. Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. I wonder if I got it like keep my, my language clean while I'm, if I have problems with her. Because I know sometimes I can say some mean things. <laughs> Good girl. See, usually already she's like flipping out, you know, so that's good. That's a good sign so far. Come on. Good girl. It's just a treat. Good girl. Good girl. My riding ring needs some major TLC. First, I just like to walk her around nice and slow. Make sure she's not going to be stupid at everything. I haven't fluffed the riding ring up for a while, so if I hit it, it's going to hurt. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping we get some sand. Eddie's like, he's saying he's going to get some sand. So I'm hoping, because we had to really wait for this to um, get settled in a little bit too. And I need to fix the low spots. Come on. Over. Over. We're, we're working over here. Good girl. She listens to my legs pretty darn good. Good girl. Good girl. Hopefully she listens better now that I've been going to the chiropractor, right? <laughs> At least she worked off my left leg, which I had issues with her and every other horse before, so she's listening better than she was. Now this mare, this is Tally, and Tally is very herd bound. And when I get her in the ring by herself, she's usually a little bit of a pistol, so. Working out of my circle here. There we go, good girl. Good girl. And then I usually do some figure eights with her. Good girl. There's a seat over there, babe. You could have brought your book up if you wanted. She says, I don't have to video. <laughs> Good girl. Now, Tally also has an issue. When she looks at something too long, she thinks it's going to eat her. So, got to make sure she keeps attention on me instead of everything else around her. Her uh, most favorite thing to think that's going to eat her is, is the rocks. So, don't ask me why. She sees a big rock and she starts looking at it. And if I don't get her to look away quick enough, it freaks her out. So, I always want to start off slow. I don't want to go out here and just start running around. I want to warm her up a little bit. Just let her walk. I did have Tally jumping, and now she's looking at something. Um, I did have her jumping before, although we had an issue with one of her shoes, and I didn't realize it right away. And uh, one of the nails were really bothering her, so she started giving me issues while we were jumping. And the last time I had, I was doing cross country with her, she decided to run through the jump as fast as she possibly could, tried to refuse it at first. Once I got her over it, she took off like a bat out of hell and uh, dodged the first tree, lifted my head up and there was a second and there was only a half a second to duck and I didn't make it quite quick enough. So I fell off. Yes, it hurt. Yes, I got back on. 
And yes, I wanted to kill her. So far, my ride is quite, uh, quite calm. More calm than it ordinarily is with her, so that's plus. I'm just hoping that my, uh, little camera up here is working good enough. responding nicely to my leg today. I'm very, very pleased. And she always worked fairly good, except for from my left side, but I was, I had 12 and a half pounds more weight on my right side than my left, so that can really screw them up because they're trying to pick up your weight and not working off my one leg. So it really gave me some problems and I really didn't know why I was having so many issues. At first I thought my left leg was weaker than my right. I'm like, no, because I don't have to push so much with my right leg. And uh, so once I started visiting the chiropractor, I think, uh, I think things are going a little bit better. I know I feel better, even after dropping a tree on my shoulder. If you can see my hands, but I always, you always want to have a bend in your elbow when you work them off your leg. You try to take your, the one rein that they're working off of and just lay it up against their neck and use your leg and work them out or wherever you want them to go. Oh boy, somebody's fighting. Fire and swivel. Yeah, she's saying, just to let you guys know, when I'm back in there, I am big dude, okay? Just so you know. <laughs> Sometimes just when you look away, you lay your leg on your horse and you don't realize it, so I really try to keep my head in the direction that I'm moving in. And yeah, like we all do, we sometimes look around but you got to make sure you're not constantly looking down because it will shift your weight uh, ah, come on in the saddle which will make them move in a direction you don't want them to and my nose is stuffy again I took I took Claritin instead of the Allegra I think the, the Claritin used to work better for me and now the Allegra is I don't know I just lay that rein up against her neck a slight tad and use my leg. Now if, you, if I pull too hard on the rein, she's just going to fight me. So I try to keep just a firm feel on the reins. I think she's got a fly bug in her because she's kind of swishing her tail and kicking at her belly a little bit. So she's not paying as, mo as much mind to me as she should. And she's a type that will definitely throw a temper tantrum if she's got anything bugging her. So definitely needs to pay attention to me a little bit more. Sometimes to get their attention, I tweak my reins back and forth a little bit. And that'll sometimes kind of bring their attention span back to you. When they're young and you're just really starting to work with them, you want to switch directions. You don't want them to anticipate what you're going to do. So by doing the figure eights and serpentines and things of that nature, it usually makes them respond to you a little bit better than they would if you were just going in your circle. So now she's she's looking over at uh, Ashley over there, thinking she's going to save her probably. <laughs> she might think you're going to eat her. Good girl. You're being such a good girl. Try to tell her she's a good girl and that really helps because usually they, it's not just what you're saying, it's mostly the tone of your voice. So I could say, oh, mm, 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 mm. and she'd be like, oh, okay, I'm a good girl. She likes what I'm doing. So 
not so much what you say, like I said. <laughs> it's more in the tone of your voice. But when I talk, you'll see that she kind of flicks her ears back and, and listens to what I have to say. Right, Tally girl? You go girl, Tally girl? Yeah. And any horse should be able to. When she has her ears forward too much, she's concentrating most of the time on something else. If I tweak the reins and get her attention a little bit, she'll flick her ears and kind of put to the side and listen. Sometimes they'll put their ears back. They won't pin them, but when they're concentrating, they'll start putting their ears back like she just did. Good girl. But the ears tell you a lot. They tell you if, you're li if they're listening to you, if they're looking at something, uh, if they're mad, if they're sad, if they're concentrating, and right now, see her ears are moving back and forth. So she's really listening to what I say and um, trying to pay attention to where she's going at the same time. So that's good. Good girl. See, I tweak the reins and she, she puts her ears kind of like, turns them back a little bit because she knows I'm, I'm asking something of her. Sometimes just talking to them, you know, while you're up there too, it, it uh, it helps them relax as well, and I think I have a pretty boring voice. I put people to sleep with it, so. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick up a trot. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit here. She takes right off, that's good. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. I'm not gonna try to pull, I'm just gonna try to relax on her. Slow my posting. Tweak the reins of hair. She likes to move in on me when I'm just kicked a rock. See, if I pull too hard on those reins, like I just did apparently, she likes to rip them out of my hands. What I want to see is her putting her head down, come on, and rounding out her neck. Don't want her to bend too far. But she's not really worked with as much as she should be. And when she's trying to find that bit, she'll also put her head down like that. And you have to make sure you let the reins run through your hands and not, not fight with them. You just want to kind of let them slide through and spider your fingers right back up the reins. That's what a lot of times your younger horses will do when they try to go ahead and get on that bit for you. want to speak too soon but she's really being quite a lot more behaved than she ordinarily is so I'm happy with just this and not being bucked around all the time starting to relax at the trot a little bit. She's starting to listen to my aids a little more, which is great. Just a little pop. Nothing like she can do. She's looking in the field and looking at the other horses that don't have to work today and she's not real happy about it. I'm just gonna make sure I stay calm and don't get too worked up. A lot of times I make the mistake of pulling too hard on their mouths when they start acting up, which is not the best combination because then it makes them flake you more. But I admit my mistakes and I try to improve. She's being a little bit of a pill, so I have to keep 
adjusting my reins here. She keeps pulling me. And as she gets her head down too far, that's when she decides she's gonna take care of me. Like I said, this horse has hurt me before and I really, really, really don't want it to happen again. tons of times before and that's just her excuse to act up so don't want her to think she's getting out of work so I'm gonna go ahead and ask for the trot again which is sometimes a volatile thing with her to force her to work but that's just too bad she's just gonna have to get used to things she knows what a four-wheeler is she sees them all the time and she doesn't get spooked by them whatsoever, so she's just kind of using an excuse here. I'm not going to canter this horse today. I'm not going to jump her today, because like I said, she is green. She's coming along nicely, especially for how often I get to work with her. Not changing my diagonals like I'm supposed to, because I'm too busy paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> to the way she feels underneath me, which it would feel much better if I had changed my diagonal like I'm supposed to. But we all make mistakes. Like I said, I'm definitely one that will admit my mistakes. If I don't, then the students that I have will think that's okay, and I don't want them to think that when I make a mistake. Girl. And we're gonna sit, squeeze through the thighs, do a half halt. Now she's walking and she's not paying as much attention to me again as she should. Now she's a little bit because she's kind of turning her ear towards me. I, I don't keep looking. I'm telling you, if this mare keeps looking at something, it's gonna eat her. But I'm definitely going to have a short ride today because it is hotter than the gates of hell. So, Lord knows I'm out of breath too. But, but just little, little intervals at a time is, is what's best for the, you know, younger horse. And especially when they have a shorter attention span. And as she gets older, her attention span will get longer and longer. And she's actually matured whole whole bunch in the past year which is good for me she doesn't work me quite as hard I don't know if you can see but my on this side my circles a little bit bigger because she's working away from that right leg so I've got to get used myself to eh, it's okay I got to get used myself to realize I'm using my my leg too hard sometimes too yeah but she's really starting to to work off of it so I got to be careful that I don't use it too much now what are you thinking about I see you thinking now this horse she is the type that will plan things on you you'll feel her bunching up but before then you'll see it kind of in her ears when she decides she's had enough horses have a better way they're also right and left dominant too so that's another reason why you want to work in both directions so that they don't build up a dominant side if they have a dominant side you want to work them on the less dominant side so they build that side up a little bit more it's kind of like when you're right-handed and trying to write with your left 
the more you do it, the better off you're going to be. So, I don't know if I'm still recording or not, but it's kind of hard to look right now. Come on, move forward. Good girl. Good girl. Step out. I'm going to alternate my leg, kind of make her steps a little bit longer. I wish she'll reach more. She won't make it any faster, but she'll just kind of reach more with her legs. And if I push her with my feet, it'll get her to walk out a little bit more as well. So how much energy she can burst into one little episode, you think she'd have a little bit more energy than she does now. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I noticed I was using my left leg like almost as much as I did before. And I think that's why my, my little circle over here is a little bit wider. your leg on a diagonal. You want to make sure you keep their butt the way it's supposed to be too. You don't want them to try to bend around your leg too much and not let that butt come along the same way as the head is. So she's listening pretty good. We're about to the end of the riding ring here and she's responded quite well. We are on the other side so she listened and she kind of kept her butt in the whole time too, so that was great. So now we're going to try the diagonal with my newly working left leg here and see how she listens. Like I said, I had a little bit of an issue before with her working off that leg. But she's doing, so far she's doing quite a nice job for me. Got to get her a little bit more straight here. for a horse to work off your leg. I mean, they move away from pressure, so that's what she's she's doing, and she's kind of bending a little bit, but that might be my fault, too. So, like I said, my, my left leg's just now starting to work out for me like I want it to. But she did good. Like I said, she hasn't been ridden all that much, so she's doing really well for me. So that's all I'm going to ride her today. I just do a little bit of half an hour spray here and there. So... It might not even have been a half an hour, but I'm sweating bullets, and she's sweating bullets, and she was sweating before I even got on her, so it's a pretty hot day. Of course, I didn't feel like riding her when it was a cool day, like a stupid, but oh well. So guys, we're done. Is it still red?